know, over a hundred years ago, 1897 to be precise, a girl named Virginia O'Hanlon, a little eight-year-old girl, had a problem. Now, she believed in Santa Claus, naturally, because he'd never disappointed her. But some of the kids in school said, there's no Santa Claus. So she came up and said, Daddy. Now, he was even a little evasive on it. Now, in the O'Hanlon family, when there was a problem with the word, the, the dictionary, the spelling was something, they would call the, or write the son, a newspaper, a question and answer. And she said, Daddy, I'm going to write the son. He says, good idea. That'll give you the right answer. <coughs> so Virginia sat down and wrote the son. Now, the letter found its way into the hands of Francis P. Church. He was one of the editors who was with the New York Times for 20 years, ran the Civil War, worked the Civil War, and now whenever there was a controversial subject, they always gave it to him, and this indeed was a controversial subject. So he couldn't disappoint her, and he had to answer her question and answer her question, promisingly, honestly, and promptly. So he sat down and began to write what would become the most famous editorial in journalistic history. Ah. Virginia, Virginia, here's this letter he has in his hand. Is there a Santa Claus? Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They've been infected by the skepticism of a skeptical age. They do not believe except what they see. They think that nothing can be which is not comprehensible by their little minds. <laughs> All minds, Virginia, whether they be men's or children's, are little in this great universe of ours. Man is a mere insect, an ant in his intellect, as compared with the boundless world about him. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exists and you know they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. <laughs> Alas, how dreary would be the world if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There would be no childlike faith, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. We should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. The eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus? <laughs> you might as well not believe in fairies. Now you might get your papa to hire men to watch and all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But even if they did not see Santa Claus coming down, what would that prove? <coughs> Nobody sees Santa Claus, Virginia, but that's no sign that there is no Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor men can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn, Virginia? Of course not, but that's no proof that they're not there. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders there are, unseen and unseeable, in this world. You may tear apart the baby's rattle and see what makes the noise inside. But there's a veil covering the unseen world, Virginia, which not the strongest man or even the united strength of all the strongest men that ever lived could tear apart. Only faith, fancy, poetry, love, romance can push aside that curtain and view and picture the supernal beauty and glory beyond. Is it all real? Ah, <laughs> Virginia! In all this world there is nothing else real and abiding. No Santa Claus? <laughs> Thank God he lives, Virginia. And he lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia, nay, ten times ten thousand years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart of childhood.